Let's do this. All right. So yeah, I'm not going to go through the whole um, the whole Russian army kind of thing. That would take uh, a long time. But it's over. The Russian turn is over. I've uh, finished it off. Um, it was primarily just doing a lot of uh, shifting troops back and forth and trying to maximize, um, just trying to be able to to make it as difficult as possible for the Germans um, to to push us around, basically. Um, and I will say this is yet another shout out to Meandering Mike. I'm so happy that. Um, um, he did um, uh, uh, a, a playthrough of uh, the introductory scenario for Tannenberg and, I, and put the videos out and then also commented on my thing about movement of troops because uh, I was able therefore to move uh, some of the troops from here to there and there to there anyway so what I've been trying to do is yet again is just uh, this is the only weak spot I had to do the best I can uh, so I did withdraw my troops over to here and then uh, jiggled some people around a little bit, uh, moved one of the uh, people's uh, militia brigades that was going to be, um, was part of First Army Direct, and uh, well, since it is part of First Army Direct Vanden Camp, uh, I assigned it, I assigned them over to here, and they're actually over here, to plug up that hole so I could push some people over here. Yes, it was only that, uh, the 6th Cavalry Division, the, um, the German 6th Cavalry Division, yes, they retreated, um, in, uh, towards the the 12th Corps headquarters uh, here. Uh, don't ask me who it is uh, right now, but I'll find out later because it's going to be the German's turn coming up next. And it's going to be, oh, for me, really interesting once I get going here. But yet again, remember, my version to get going, I mean, I make glaciers look quick. So, you know, use a you know, monster grain of salt here with that. Uh, so I'll show you, though, what I've done. Oh, man, I was really impressed. This was the biggie. When I saw this bit, and I went, oh, my gosh, I'm able to turn that for into four uh, four hits. I was really happy. I mean, like I said, it's not perfect, but this is the trick. This is the way I'm looking at it here, okay? I hope you see what I'm saying here. So you see here this? This is one more turn, these two guys. So if the Germans can't knock these guys out, they become trenches next turn. And in this game system, in order to force uh, somebody away from their entrenched position, uh, you have to uh, equal the amount of strength points they have. It's going to no more of this one third, one half crap. It's, it's straight up. What, uh, what that means is all these, I don't have to leave 10 strength points anymore. I can now move a lot of these dudes out of here because right now all that means is four. I get uh, right now. Um, the Germans need to hit that hit these guys with four uh, hits to force a retreat. Do you see where I'm going with this? Which means, therefore, I can I can release potentially six strength points here, another six strength points here, another six strength points here. If I want to continue keep that same defensive posture of four hits to force a retreat. Ah so I'm super duper ultra happy about that. It just means I got to weather the storm. One like just. We gotta weather the storm, but it's gonna be. I'm, I think I've made it really difficult for the Germans. I mean, this. Um, we'll see what happens. I don't know. Like, I mean, yet again, we're gonna do. You know, do the best I can here. Yeah, it's a little weak, but what do you want here? I mean, I, I can't. I can't have everything, and it's still, uh, still uh, has to. You know, I still get the defensible terrain for the river, so that's good. That's three hits. Remember, because it's. Um, it's one third, and so uh, one third, it, it's going to uh, pop, uh, pop them up. So, uh, so that's three hits. Uh, correct? Uh, one third. Sorry, be. Wow, you get. Anyways, we're good. I think. Uh, oh, what am I doing this again for? Yeah, it's one third. We're good. I, I'm happy. So that's three hits. Two hits. Four hits. Four hits. Four hits. Four hits. Uh, there's not much I can do about that one. Two hits. Um, two hits, one hit. Uh, I, I put the one hit down here because it's furthest away from causing me grief in the sense of that, you know what I mean? Like it, if they do uh, cross the river, which is, well, there's a good chance they are. It, maybe not. If I can, like I said, if I can weather the storm, I move some, I do that little conveyor belt of troops over, I don't know. Well, I'm hoping to God it'll happen. But they've got some woods here. So there's no way right now, next turn, as far as I know, the Germans can get to this spot. 
there's I don't think they can get to here and cause so they if they do decide to attack um, it would either be through the woods of the river well it's the same thing so um, there we go as far as I'm concerned so would, I'm just gonna do the best I can um, but I'm pretty darn happy and uh, like I said I think it's gonna be awfully difficult for the Germans to uh, oh boy though they've got a ton of a ton of grief coming lots of strength points coming and uh, like uh, 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 quite a quite a bit of a uh, bit of supply points oh, now I get to go and write all that stuff down and now we're slowly creeping towards um, um, you know the grand campaign stuff oh my gosh and I'll tell you one thing I just found out I've been reading um, I'm sorry but it's, you know the whatever, whatever it goes I've been reading, uh, I just finished up reading uh, the little bit there of um, German Southwest Africa of, uh, of the Unionist forces taking it over. Uh, and that didn't happen until uh, I think uh, July 1915, which means if you think um, as the central powers, I, I know I can't help them out, there's no way of getting stuff there unless I can figure out something. But if you think I'm going to just lay, uh, you know, lay on the ground there and just let anybody do whatever they want to me in German Southwest Africa up to this point, because it's like, well, Der Valkyrie doesn't have, you know, or this system or you weren't, screw you. I'm going to figure out, uh, I'll go into some ultra micro, but I'm going to try to cause, uh, um, the Brits, obviously, specifically, but I'm going to cause the Entente as much grief as possible down there, especially when uh, that's one of the freaking travel routes for crying out loud. Imagine that, tying that in with knocking out the Suez Canal. Oh, oh, that would be interesting. But I mean, this is like, you know, Fantasy Island again. But yeah, I've got to think Fantasy Island. If you don't, the way I'm looking at it, if I don't think Fantasy Island, I'm never going to get there. You, or, you know, get even, yeah, you don't know. Anyways, you get the idea. Okay, that's it. Well, if I go to uh, get into yeah, start doing um, the November massive attack and uh, start talking about the uh, you know I'm gonna whine uh, no there's probably a lot of little violins going off for me about um, you know the end of Operation Luther what a bummer that was so much fun oh well well it's still there okay see ya.